Hello guys, or what is up? My name is Dan the Delight, and today I am bringing you a Noble Akello or Akello FIFA 23 player review. This is the Winter Wild Card um, squad builder challenge that you can get for training an 83 rated team. He is six foot five with high high on the work rates, right footed, only two star skill moves, and four star weak foot. He can play in CDM and CM. Um, he's in the um, in the American League, and he is Canadian, so not the best of links, unfortunately. I am hoping that the uh, the physicality of him being six foot five and having the high high work rates will save him. Let's get into the in game stats and then we'll get into some gameplay. So eighty three pace, which is pretty good for a CDM. Seventy six shooting, um, not bad. I mean eighty six shot power is good. Eighty long shots decent enough. Um, eighty five attack positioning, eighty passing with ninety one vision, ninety two short pass, ninety one long pass. It's that crossing for curve and free kick accuracy is bringing that down. Eighty four dribbling is not too bad. Eighty seven ball control. 87 dribbling very nice there and an 82 defending with 91 and head and accuracy 82 pretty much across the board and the important stats there 93 strength um, caps off the 86 physicality so let's get into some uh, gameplay now all right, so you're joining me here, 1-0 down. Um, we've got Akello playing in the uh, central defensive midfield position. Again, as I said, he is kind of hard to link um, because he plays in the MLS and he's Canadian. Um, not really, other than Alfonso Davis, um, not really many Canadian cards that you're probably going to be using. Um, and MLS as well is not the easiest of leagues. I guess if you've got Higuain um, from the flashback squad or end of an era, then yes, there we go. Um, end of the era, then you will be able to sort of link him with uh, Okello. Um, but other than that, there's not really that many, unfortunately. So not the best of links, but hopefully he will make up for it in his um, in his. Look at that, that was nice. Um, in his gameplay, that was really good. He, he won the ball really well there. He's bursting forward as well. That's nice acceleration shown and decent enough passing. And then he drops right back. Do you see that? Um, that's pretty good. That's exactly what I'm sort of wanting from a CDM, to be honest there. He's very lucky not to have given a penalty away there, but we get the goal anyway, so I'm happy. We are now 2-1 up, which is uh, good because you joined me at 1-0 down, which you know we obviously don't want to be. Here he is on the ball again. Okello, very nice strength displayed. Good pass. Good dribbling. He's actually playing well. Um, I know it's only the very first uh, sort of half that I played with him, so of course I will be doing uh, playing some more games with him before giving my final verdicts. But yeah, Okello is having a good game so far. It's a huge boost for him. He's, his normal card is actually a bronze. It's a 60 rated bronze, um, so he's been uh, boosted up to what is it an 85 rated um, CDM, which is just crazy, really. That's such a big boost for a card. He must be having a good season. Good pass again there. I mean, he's, he's got good passing. It was to be expected. I think the passing stat will definitely be getting an increase when we go through that at the end um, with what, what they feel like in-game compared to what they show on the card. But I did think that the passing might be increased um, purely because he's got 91 short passing. So the passing in general is going to feel better. And that's another fantastic pass, which has actually set this whole attack up here. And best is away-ish. Not really. There's a few on him. And that was a great tackle from him, unfortunately, there. Um, we still got the ball. Ah, well, we had the ball. I jinxed it twice there. Brilliant. Um, but yeah, Okello, you know, he's, he's had a good game. He's had a good half. And hopefully it will continue. Um, of course, any highlights from the second half I will put at the end of this particular half. Um, so you will see if he gets a goal or anything like that. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, I'm not very... Um, oh, nice. I mean, he's dribbling and passing. It's fantastic. But I don't have high hopes for him scoring a goal. He has got high, high on the work rates, but he doesn't seem to get forward that much. Um, which I think is good. I don't want a central defensive midfielder that's going to get forward that much. Um, I've got central midfielders for that and I've got a cam for that. Don't need the CDM getting forward as well. He is away. He's going to score that. Yeah. Of course he is. Uh, Adama Traore always causing problems with that pace, but <laughs> the 65 shooting is quite laughable. Um, but he finished that one off, unfortunately. Well, that was a bit of a late tackle. And he's away again here with Pato, um, and we managed to get the ball off him there. Um, he's got a few winter wild cards in himself. It seems to be this promo it seems to be going on forever. I think there's a team two coming out on Friday as well. Um, but there's squad builders for the whole time. It's it's good. I'm enjoying. It. I'm enjoying that there is at least 
someone new to, to do reviews on and to play with each day so that is very good for me anyway um, I know sometimes like Ocello doesn't look the best but you know just doing an 83 rated squad builder challenge is not is not hard and, and you do end up with some pretty solid players like he is genuinely well he's had a good half here we'll, uh, we'll end this here let's see if he's done anything else in the second half Sorry, a bit premature there, not going to end it just yet, we've still got a couple of minutes. I, for some reason, looked up at the clock and thought it said 47, I have no idea why. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know what was going on there, but we'll, yeah, we'll see if anything happens here. And then we will uh, we will then go on to the uh, the next lap. Uh, that was literally quite pointless going back to it, but there we go. Let's see, does he do anything else in a second? Alright, so we want a penalty. Um, I'm going to get Okello to actually take the penalty, see if we can get anything out of him. He's got 84 penalties, which is actually pretty good, um, considering his shooting in general is quite bad. It's to the right, to the right, and it's in the back of the net. So he's got a goal in this first game for me, technically, even though it's a penalty. Alright, so I've played a couple more games with Okello um, since we have played our first one there, we saw the first half. And we'll go through it step by step and then I'll give my honest opinion on if I think that he's worth doing a squad builder challenge for. So, 83 pace. Uh, I think 83 probably feels about right. He's a very strange one where he actually felt quicker on the ball than off the ball. And I've never come across that before. So, I'm not entirely sure what that was all about. But yeah, he felt quicker when he had the ball compared to when he didn't. But 83 pace feels about right. 76 shooting. I can't really increase or decrease either, mainly because he didn't really get forward enough for me. Um, so I, I don't really know what his shooting was like because he didn't really have any shots. He did score that penalty for me, but I don't think scoring a penalty is enough to give an increase on the shooting. But this one here, his passing 80 has to be increased. He was a fantastic passer, mainly because the short pass is 90, 92 and 91 vision makes the passing feel better than what it is probably anyway. So we're going to actually bring that passing up to an 85, which is an incredibly high boost and it's a much needed one for a central defensive midfielder very happy that that is actually better than what the card suggests there and 84 dribbling I'm going to increase as well I think the strength kind of helps with his dribbling here but 84 dribbling felt way too low for this guy so I'm actually going to bring his dribbling up to an 86 he felt pretty good on the ball um, I, you saw clips there in the first half where he was able to just get the ball and he beat, beat his player and then managed to make a pass exactly what you want from a central defensive midfielder and he sat back quite a lot as well which is yeah it's positive and an 82 defend him. I'll increase it slightly. I think we can only bring it up to like an 83 though. Nothing major. Um, but it did feel like he, he was making some really good standing tackles for me. Um, he was always in the right position and that sort of thing. That's what I mean by him sitting back. He was always just sitting there ready to, to get into the position that he needed to make a tackle. And he made some good interceptions as well. 83 will bring in for the defending. He wasn't amazing. He did miss some tackles and that sort of thing. But I can't, I can't just leave it at 82. And an 86 physical, I'm actually going to increase as well. Maybe Mainly because for me physical is all about the strength and he's got 93 strength so I feel like we have to increase his overall physical because his strength being so high. His stamina is pretty good as well. His jumping could be increased a little bit. I feel like he, he did actually head her out quite a bit and his aggression at 75. I don't really know what aggression does too much to be honest but I'll bring his physical up to an 88. So we've increased, well we've left his pace and shooting the same. We've increased his passing by 5, increased his dribbling um, by, was it 4 I increased? or three um, increased his defending by one and increased his physical as well so is it worth doing I mean he's got terrible links that is the only drawback for me um, but he is good and you get an 85 rated player for fodder in the future um, yeah I'm on the fence. I think that he is worth it purely because it is only an 83 rated team. It's a very easy squad builder challenge to do and he has got links to Higuain and maybe any other MLS player that you might want to use. So yeah, I'm going to say do him. I think he's worth doing. So hopefully this video has helped. If it has, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this and there will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. As always guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.